Hello, hello everybody and welcome to the session. So here we are with yet another superbly amazing session. One short revision of your entire chapter, exponents and powers. And this is your master teacher, Hari Priyam. You can also follow me on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram handle is haripriya.vedantu. So yes, you can follow me there as well. And do not forget to show us some love. Do not forget to like this video. Share this video with all your 7th graders. And also, if you have by mistake stumbled upon this channel, if you're here for the very first time, let me tell you, this is India's leading junior channel for grade 6, 7th and 8th, where academics, entertainment and fun, all of it happened together. So do not forget to subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell icon. Because whenever anything goes onto the channel, it can be on the community post, it can be a live class, a premiere session or whatever, you will be the first one to get the notifications. So today's topic is going to be exponents and powers. We are doing the series where we are giving you one short revision for this entire chapter in one video, right? And here in mathematics, what better way than to do lot of practice questions, right? So I will be doing a lot of questions related to this uh, chapter in today's class. But apart from that, if you want to do quizzes, you are most welcome to do that. The link for that is in the description box. You can find the link of the quiz under the description box. Click on it. Click on the uh, register the credentials and you are right there to start off with your quiz. Okay. So do not forget, uh, there is a, yes, if you want to join us at the Vedantu platform, YouTube pe to hum padate hai, right? If you want more personalized teaching, so this is where we come into picture, where we will be, we are providing you with the AI live courses. So here in AI live courses, the master teacher will teach you, there will be another person solving your doubts and then there will be 100% doubt solving. Yes, there will be math, science, English and social studies ke micro courses only at Rs. 8100 for the entire year. You will have amazing features like weekly and monthly tests, assignments, tatva books, like study materials and quizzes and lot of amazing things. So be it grade 6, 7th, yeah, 8th. The link is in the description box. You can use my coupon code YTJUNIOR. It's not my coupon code but yeah just to get a 10% discount. And if you have any queries, you can also WhatsApp us. That's our WhatsApp number. Okay? So, sab kuch aapko description box mein mil jayega. Pura dunia aapko description box mein mil jayega. Okay? So, let us get started with the chapter, Exponents and Powers. We will be talking about the basics again. We'll revise our basics, laws of exponents and problems based on it, and standard form of large numbers. A very important concept. Okay? So what were exponents or powers? Both of both of them are almost the same. Is a method of expressing large numbers or small numbers in terms of power. For example, the mass of the planet Uranus. Look at this number. Oh my God. So it's too long, right? So you can sh write it in a shortcut. We all love shortcuts, right? So that's what exponents are going to do for us. So 2 to the power 3. So 2 is called as the base and 3 is called as the power or the exponent. Now if I multiply 10 4 times, I can write it as 10 to the power 4. If I multiply my 2 4 times, I can write it as 2 to the power 5. If I multiply minus 2 5 times, I can write it as minus 2 to the power 5. Okay, so let's take a variable instead of a number. So, for example, if you have a to the power 2, b to the power 5, you can read it as a square b to the power 5. What does it mean? It means that you are multiplying your a 2 times and you are multiplying your b how many times? 5 times. So, this exponent is just not applicable for positive integers. It is for negative integers, fractions, decimals, whole numbers, natural numbers, real numbers, irrational, irrational, everything, even variables. Now, let's solve your questions. Express the following in exponential form. So, 5 is getting multiplied twice. So, 5 squared multiplied with 7 is getting multiplied 3 times. So, 5 to the power 2 multiplied with 7 to the power 3. Now, what about the second one here? 
a into a into a will give you a cube c into c into c c cube d so that would be your second expression so depending upon how many times a number is getting multiplied with itself defines the power and the number becomes the base now simplify 3 to the power 2 multiplied with 10 to the power 4 now what is 3 to the power 2 3 into 3 that is 9 multiplied with 10 to the power 4 is 10,000. So the answer would be 90,000. Don't worry about the level of questions if you're thinking, ma'am, all of this is so easy peasy. Wait for laws of exponents to come. Minus 2 cube. Now here, minus 2 is getting multiplied with itself how many times? 3 times. So minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2 will give you minus 8 multiplied with minus 10 is getting multiplied how many times three times so minus 10 into minus 10 into minus 10 which will give you minus 1000 so minus 8 into minus 1000 will give you plus 8000 so that is how you will have to write neatly step by step in your answer in your uh, answer sheet and guys please remember be very careful with negative sign. Negative sign is like our enemy. It's not our friend. We have to be super careful with that. Okay. And then comes our laws of exponents. Now under laws of exponents, first one is with 0. Any number to the power 0 is always 1. Any number to the power 1 is the number itself. Now product. When you are multiplying two exponents with the same base, 5 to the power 2, 5 to the power 3. So here you are multiplying an exponent with another one with the same base but the powers are different. So what will you do? You keep the base as it is and you add your powers. So 3 plus 2 will give you 5. So the answer will be 5 to the power 5. Now what happens when you are dividing two numbers with the same base? Keep the base as it is and you subtract your exponents. 5 square divided by 5 cube will be 5 to the power 2 minus 3. What is 5 to the power 2 minus 3? 5 to the power minus 1. Now what if you have x to the power m whole to the power n? So that will be x to the power m multiplied with n. Okay. 5 to the power 2 whole sorry 5 to the power 3 whole to the power 2 will be 5 to the power 3 multiplied with 2, 5 to the power 6. And then you have x multiplied with y whole to the power m equals to x to the power m multiplied with y to the power m. 5, point to nahi, 5 multiplied with 2 whole to the power 3 is 5 to the power 3 multiplied with 2 to the power 3. So remember here the Exponent is the same, but the base is different. And what happens here? The bases are different again and you are dividing. So, x by y whole to the power m is x to the power m divided by y to the power m. So, 2 by 3 whole square is 2 square divided by 3 square. And then you have negative exponents x to the power minus n is equal to 1 by x whole to the power n. For example, here you have 4 to the power minus 2. So that is 1 by 4 whole to the power 2. That is equal to 1 by 60. So when you have a negative exponent, you have to reciprocate the base. For example, 3 by 2 whole to the power minus 7. I hope I am Chutanku here. Yeah. So what will you do? If the, the, the power is negative. So what will we do? We will reciprocate the base and make the power positive. Suppose you have negative base. What will happen? Minus 7 by 3 whole to the power minus 2 or minus 3. So again reciprocate minus 3 by 7 whole cube. This is how you will have to do. Now let's solve a few questions. Using laws of exponents, simplify and write in exponential form. So here, the bases are all the same. So keep the base as it is 
and you add your exponents. So you have 3 to the power 14. Now what happened for the second one? First we'll solve what is there inside the bracket. 2 to the power 20 divided by 2 to the power 15. You are dividing two exponents with the same base. So keep the base as it is. And you will have to subtract the exponents since you are dividing. Multiplied with 2 to the power 3. So here you have 2 to the power 5 multiplied with 2 to the power 3. That is 2 to the power 8. Now next the third one. Let's do it here. A to the power m whole to the power n can be written as a to the power m multiplied with n 5 to the power 6. This is how you will have to do it. The first one we have used the identity a to the power m multiplied with a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. Not identity, the law. Okay. In the second one we have used the second law of exponent a to the power m divided by a to the power n that is equal to a to the power m minus n. And then we have used a to the power m whole to the power n, which is a to the power m multiplied with n. Now, a lot of my students, are, you know, they're very crazy. Like students are crazy, right? It's good to be crazy. So, they are like, ma'am, agar 3 to the power 7 whole to the power 2 whole to the power 10 hota to kya hota? Right? You must have got this down. So, nothing doing here. Keep the base as it is. Just multiply all the exponents. So the answer is t to the power 140. You just have to multiply. Does not matter kitane upa kitana upar jara. It does not matter. Just multiply all of them. That's it. Okay. Chalo. Your next question. Simplify. Uh -huh, my favorite. Okay, the first one. Anything to the power 0 is what? 0. 1. Anything to the power 0 is 1. So 3 to the power 0 is 1. 2 to the power 0 is 1. 5 to the power 0 is also 1. So 2 plus 2 multiplied with 1 will give you 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 into 1 is 2. Then the second one, what is that you have? a to the power 5 divided by a to the power 3 multiplied with a to the power 8. a to the power 5 divided by a to the power 3 is a to the power 5 minus 3 which is 2 multiplied with a to the power 8. So what do we do? Keep the base as it is and add the exponents. 8 plus 2 will give you 10. So the final answer is a to the power 10. And then you have the third one. I'm going to write it here. Now 2 to the power 5 whole to the power 2 will give you 2 to the power 10. Because we will just multiply the whole numbers here. The exponents here multiplied with 7 cube divided by now 8 can be written as 2 cube whole to the power 3 multiplied with 7 now what if what will you have here 2 to the power 10 divided by 2 to the power 9 multiplied with 7 to the power 3 divided by 7 to the power 1 so we will use the second law of exponent so they will become what 2 to the power 10 minus 9 multiplied with 7 to the power 3 minus 1. So 2 to the power 1 multiplied with 7 to the power 2. So 2 multiplied with 14. There you go. Got it? This, oh I'm so sorry, I'm so extremely sorry. This is 14 it seems. Wow, Hari Priya, what's wrong with you? Anyway, 49. So here you have 90. Okay, so that's how you'll have to write. So the first one answer is 2. For the second one, the answer here is uh, a to the power 10. Oh, were you able to see what I was written? I was I becoming Chutanku? Okay, now you can see, right? So the answer would be 98 for the third one. Come on. Cool. If you want to suddenly say, Ki, yaar, ma'am, itna jaldi slide you change kar diya. So just pause the video there and you can take a screenshot. Cool. Chal. Next comes the most important part. The standard form of any number. When do you say that a number is in standard form? When it can be expressed as a decimal number between 1 to 10, including 1, okay, and multiplied by the power 
10, power of 10. For example, let's take the first one here. 5 lakh. How can you write your 5 lakh? You can write it as 5 multiplied with 10 to the power 5. This is in standard form. Why? Because 5 lies between 0 and 10 multiplied with 10 to the power 5. Now, what about the next one? Ah, this is where the actual fun is. 3908. 3908, yeah, 0.78. Now, you have to somehow bring this number between, so that it comes between your what? Uh, 1 to 10. So, I will divide by 100 and multiply by 100. You must be thinking, ma'am, aap kuch bhi karoge, kya? Aapke paas pen hai, laptop hai, aap teacher ho, toh aap kuch bhi karoge, kya? Aisa nahi hai. I've done it with a logic. The logic is, if you divide a decimal with 10, you have to move the decimal digit how many times? Oh, I'm so sorry. You will divide it with 1000. So, since there are three zeros, I'll move the decimal digits, decimal point, three digits and place a comma. So, kya hoga se? You will have 3.908788 into 10 to the power 3. You are going to have a number which is between 1 to 10. That is why I divided by 1000. So that I can get this big number as a number between 1 and 10. Okay. So that is called as standard form. So that is all for today's class. If you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section. I would love to clarify all your doubts here. And do not forget, you can also try out our AI Life course only for Rs. 450 for 15 days. The link for the same is in the description box. And do not forget to play the we, play the we quiz. If you think, yes, I am going to rock in this we quiz. I am super duper perfect in exponents and powers. So the link for week quiz also you will find in the description box. So thanks. That's all for today. And take care. Bye-bye.